Hey, namaste, how are you? So, um, today I just wanted to briefly touch on our ability to stay happy, our ability to stay in our flow state. So talking about flow state comes up a lot in the well-being industry or in the industry of, sort of law of attraction. And I think in the past I didn't quite get it. I thought that it sounded really nice, but I didn't really know <clears throat> what it felt like. And more recently, as I've been really doing this inner work and committing to my own happiness, committing to my own dreams and my own inner desires, I started to feel it. I started to notice, oh, this must be what the flow state is like. And I come from a background within myself, people call it an A-type personality or a perfectionist. And I'll tell you what, this type of personality is very controlling, very rigid and I was very hard on myself. I thought I had to manage and control every aspect of my life. And over time, this way of living or perceiving my life became exhausting. So I was really hurting myself. I was never enough and that was really hurtful. And so the more I let go of that and the more I thought to myself, life is easy, I'm allowed to be happy and I'm allowed to have what I want, naturally certain habits fell away and I started to observe my reality very differently. One example is I stopped making lists. Now, I'm not saying this is a good or bad thing. I'm just saying it was part of my process of relinquishing control. So when I stopped making the lists, what I noticed that through the week or through the month, I would naturally and effortlessly, while in my flow state, get lots of stuff done. So I would naturally make a vlog. I would intuitively be guided to my website and I'd work on my website. I would have a natural impulse to write a blog and put it out there. So basically this is just about getting into your flow state and allowing your life to be easy and trusting that within that ease you get everything done that needs getting done and you actually become highly efficient and highly productive. And of course, I think that means that you're serving yourself and you're serving the world. I love holidays and I love adventures and I love resting, but at the same time, I love what I do. And the more I choose that loving, flow, happy state, the more I roll with it and the more I can get done. So this is really about letting go of control. Be brave, trust yourself, trust your dreams, and see what happens. Let me know what you think about this vlog, and maybe you resonate with some of it, maybe you're struggling with this idea, well, oh, I can't, I can't let go of this, I can't, I have to do this, and I have to do that. For me, my life has shown me the more I let go, the more I embrace my true inner happiness and how I see myself and how I want life to be, the more I embrace that, the more I permission myself to become that and to be that, life just happens. Opportunities land on my lap. I won't be planning anything and I'll just randomly speak up to somebody and then that will follow through into a workshop or a new event. I'm excited. I'm excited about what's coming because I know what I'm feeling inside. I work the law of attraction so I know that if I'm consistently feeling this way I've got some really good things coming into my life that I'm creating for my own vibration.
Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day and peace out. I'll see you soon.